for me, I would like to see quality schools, whether they're public, private, or charter. Jalen Rose may forever be remembered as a member of the Fab Five that changed college basketball. Now he's trying to make a difference in education. He spoke to the Michigan Senate Education Committee about a charter school he's opened this fall in Detroit, the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. If you look at the success, for example, of a university prep in Adepsa versus a Cast Tech in a Renaissance, the first two function more like private schools because they have low teacher-student ratios. And these are the things that, in starting the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, that I wanted to make our school a hybrid of so that we had 20 to 1 all day, 10 to 1 in math and English. What we have to do is have the courage to think differently about managing our human capital. Dr. Tony Bennett, the Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction, also addressed the committee. I think it's our job as policymakers to do all we can to set up a system of schools in our states that set very high marks and expect people to deliver. Indiana this year passed a series of bills that reformed how education is delivered in the state. It includes a voucher program and accountability measures for public, charter, and private schools in Indiana. If we're going to affect the lives of future generations, if we're going to make great schools even better, if we're going to help those good schools get to great, and if we're going to help our bad schools just you know raise out of the pits, we have to look at this comprehensively, and this is about the future of our children. Rose said academics have always been important to him. But I always took pride in what I did as a student because I never wanted to be considered a dumb jock. So I wanted to make the honor roll, which I did in high school. I wanted to make the dean's list at the University of Michigan, which I did. I wanted to get a college degree, which I did. He wants education to be important to all children. I wanted to give back to the education of my community in Detroit and the plight of our youth. It has to be a 9 through 16 model. To me, the eight most important years of our youth are the eight that you're in high school, I mean the four that you're in high school, and the four that you should be in college. You ask any adult where their dreams went awry, or their goals went sideways, a lot of times they point back to that eight year window. So it's very important to educate our youth. Gone are the days where you know, you can get your high school diploma and you can come out and you're making $125,000. That's, that's just unrealistic. Our kids need a diploma, a degree, and some sort of career in order to have success. Rose said the way the education system stands in Michigan, the wealthy have choice. And we all know that money creates the separatism. If you don't have the money to put your children in private school, which a lot of people do from elementary, which can cost these days anywhere from fifteen dollars to $25,000 a year, through high school, that means public education or charter education is your only option. So we're trying to create as many great schools as possible. And if he said everybody deserves choice. I mean, because this is America, that's what it should be. Now don't get me wrong, if you live in a district that the school isn't performing, what should you do? I mean, should you continue to drop your kid off at that school every day, knowing that it's not performing? Or should you have the opportunity to choose to send your child somewhere else. To me, that's just simple math. Lawmakers are also looking at a series of bills to increase digital learning opportunities and eliminate caps on charter schools. We're going to empower those parents to be able to make those best decisions. And then we're going to continue on the path. And as um, Dr. Bennett talked about, they wanted to make their goal was to make Indiana number one. Well, my goal is to make Michigan number one. And Dr. Bennett warned Michigan lawmakers there will be opposition to change, but he said stay focused on children. My recommendation is always aim high, be bold, do as much as you can do because in many instances you only may get one shot at it. That's why we have our scoreboard with the clock ticking down. We don't know how many more shots we're going to get at this and we got to get it right for our children now. Rose agreed there will be people against change, but he said children need choice now. Just like anything else, there's good, bad and indifferent in each scenario. There's some very good public charter and privates and there's some crappy ones. So what we're trying to do is do our best opportunity and job to uh, eliminate the ones that aren't performing so well and encourage what's positive and encourage what's working well. If there's, there's one that isn't performing in your district, I think the parents should have a choice to take this kid to a school that's performing. To me, that's just simple. In Lansing, Teresa Rashid, EAG-TV.